I'm going to go over the enrollment summary and what functions you can do in the enrollment summary. So if you, from your start page, if you just go and you don't have any students selected and you go into enrollment summary, you're going to see the enrollment summary for the date in which you are currently in. And as you can see, it will give me um, all the grades that we have at the Career Center. However, let's say that you only want to look at you know, one particular grade. So this is kind of where you can specifically select uh, using the, the grade levels here on the, on the start page, however you want to, and there's a lot of different ways you can do this as well, but we'll just say we're going to look at seniors. So I'm going to select my seniors, and I'm going to go to Enrollment Summary, and click Current Selection. So as you can see, this shows me my demographics based on uh, seniors only. And it kind of gets us into a more, um, oh, I, I, I guess looking at this, it makes it more streamlined and easy to look at. But let's say you also want to see, you know, you want to see all your grades at the high school. So I'm going to clear that and one way you can do this is to select grade level and we're going to say greater than eight. So this now I have my list of all my uh, kiddos that are grade level nine or greater and if I click on enrollment summary and I look at my current selection that's exactly what I have. So from here you can do a couple different things. Um, you can select all my juniors. Okay, I can make that my current selection and then I can run um, the different reports just based on that. You can also look at females and that's, you can kind of figure out that the pink is female and the blue is males. So if I want female students only in the 11th grade, here they are and I can make that in my current selection, so on, so on. Um, one other thing that you can do with this enrollment summary is it's a snapshot. So let's go back into enrollment summary, and I want to look at, let's just scroll down here. As of today, right now, there are 559 Actually, let's look at this, this whole number. This is the total number of students for Knox County Career Center, 613. All right, so let's go one month ago. As of the recording of this, there were 10 more students. So it's a snapshot. As of on this day, on uh, January 7th, 2022, it's a snapshot of who was in the building and you can see your total numbers as well. It, it is looking at all students who, are, who were enrolled. You know, we can go back to the, right at the beginning of the second quarter, and this number, that's another 10 students. So you can start to look at that, but then you can, um, you can grab all those grab those students and then, you know, run, make that my current selection. And you could do a, um, a quick export or a list students. We kind of talked about that in one of the previous trainings. And then you can look at students who have left and when they left based on that. So it's a, it's a, it's a tool that can be used to look at data in a snapshot, it can be looked at as a group of students and just a lot of different ways rather than trying to know a bunch of commands in the start page. So hopefully you found this useful and I'll catch you on the next video.